Hey, what's up everybody, man? How y'all doing? Wow. You know what? I totally understand because I went through the same thing when I was 12. I really just want y'all to know that I love nature. Like, I just had a full-blown conversation with a bird. The bird was like... And I was all like... Dad? I'm just kidding about the last part, but I really did have a conversation with a bird though, you know? Shit, believe it or not. Ain't nobody tripping. I don't know how that brings me into the topic of today's video, but shit, cool. Now, in this week's video, I kind of want to talk to you guys about looks versus personality. Because a lot of y'all got things fucked up. <clears throat> Something that I see a lot nowadays is that us guys and you girls, we all say the same stuff. I want someone that's funny, that can make me laugh, that I can take them to my parents, and I can take them to my dog. <clears throat> but y'all be giving a fuck about how they look. Like, y'all won't give someone a chance because they look a certain way. Now, we as humans, we look for every possible attractive trait in a person without really finding them attractive. I don't know if that made any sense, but shit, you know, ain't nobody tripping. Now, how many of y'all actually be out in public and look at people that you find attractive like, Damn, hey, look at the personality on that girl. I will lick your damn life out. You don't. Now, whether you want to be considered shallow or not, looks play a huge factor in whether or not you find someone attractive. I don't care who you are or what you say, if you do not find someone attractive, then you're not going to try to talk to them. You know, unless, unless you're asking them for last night's homework, then that's a, that's a different story. Like 80% of the time, we as people look at other people as if they're physically attractive enough for us without giving a damn about how they act or how their personality is. Now you can have someone so fine, so sexy with a shitty personality versus someone that looks okay with a great personality. Which one are you going to choose? I mean, I'm gonna go with the baddie with the fatty, you know? <laughs> and if you treat me like shit, then you know, I'm gonna train your ass and you know, okay, cool. Let's keep it real. The majority of you guys are gonna go with someone that looks really good with a shitty personality. Now, I said a majority, not all, so shut the fuck up. Now, just because you go for the more attractive person, that doesn't make you shallow. You're simply just doing what you feel is right, you know? You want someone attractive. But when you go with that sexy-ass person with a terrible personality, you know, and you realize that you do not want to put up with that bitch, what do you have to fall back on? Because those looks won't be there forever, you know? Unless you're the Kardashians and shit, you know, you can get some plastic surgery. You know everything, oh, okay, cool. Now, by no means am I saying every attractive person has a terrible personality because, you know, look at me, you know, I, I can squeeze your butt and I'm okay looking, I guess. And my personality ain't bad, you know, I feel like I'm funny. I feel like I can make you laugh and stuff and I don't really know where I'm going with this. I feel like I'm on YouTubeMingle.com. Now, I don't want you guys to feel like that I'm saying every person you find attractive has a terrible personality. But I'm just saying you need to have a good balance of both traits, looks, and personality. When you see somebody attractive, you know, just take a step back, people watch, you know, observe them. Because you can tell a lot about someone just by the way they look. Because a lot of the time, we, me included, as people, you know, we find people attractive and we just don't care about their personality. You know, we just want to... We just want to fit in. I mean, you can have someone so attractive, yet their personality is so terrible, but, I mean, you can still show them off. Versus someone that looks average with a great personality, but what the hell are you going to show off there? Their sense of humor? So the winner, in my opinion, between looks and personality is... I feel like it's a tie. Shit, ain't nobody tripping. I mean, I just feel like you can't have one without the other. You can't have Kool-Aid without the sugar, can you? No. So yeah, you know, that's how I feel about this whole looks versus personality thing. Uh, that pretty much wraps up this week's video. If you guys so happen to enjoy this week's video, whether I made you laugh, smile, cry, uh, breathe, blink, if you learned something, give me a like. Just go ahead and do it. Because, like, clicking the like button is free and it helps me out. Shit, okay, cool. So just be a good subscriber, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and tell me what you think and don't forget i got all my social media in the description box below so go follow me so yeah that's all i got for you guys this week so until next week i'm out this thing say it with me what's your bitch we might be and shout out to everybody since y'all true because y'all cool as fuck like always i love you too okay bye grandma i love you bye I love you, mommy. I, I love you, mommy. Baby, you the shit. I, I love you, mommy. Huh? 